recombinant bovine growth hormone in your milk, making eight-year-old girls go into puberty, and they should be going into puberty at 12 or 13. Silicone in chicken McNuggets and hundreds and hundreds of other processed foods. Aspartame, that is the feces of genetically engineered bacteria that has incredible health problems that have been proven. Think for yourself. It goes on and on. ABC News. This goes back four years ago. Viral meat spray. Advancing food safety. They spray a live virus on the meat to supposedly kill the bacteria. This is a live vaccine they spray on most of the meat you're consuming that you're buying from the store. It gets even worse. The petroleum distillates or toxic waste that's left over from petroleum refineries that refine oil into gasoline, they take these tens of millions of pounds of toxic waste that's left over, the fluoride, the mercury, the lead, and they dump it on crops as supposed fertilizer. And what do crops like tomatoes and corn and potatoes do? They pull in all of those toxins out of the ground. In fact, scientists for many years have used plants to actually detoxify uh, areas that have been contaminated. And those plants are pulling all of this up and then you are eating it. That's why the Washington Post reported in January of 2008 that a major study found that nearly a third of the 55 popular brand name foods and beverage products were filled with mercury despite the fact that the people of Europe for over 20 years have fought off all the genetically modified wheat and corn and other crops being planted in their nation. Now the EU is buckled and is accepting it. The United States is literally a testing ground for all of this. It's just automatically approved. And the people that work for these corporations, they're compartmentalized. They don't know what's going on. The people that work at these stores, they have no idea what's happening. This is affecting all of us. This is hurting everyone. Many different forms of cancer are growing by thousands of percentage points. Uh, diabetes, all these different diseases. And in major studies, it's all been linked to the toxic additives that are in our food, our water. And I haven't even had time to get into MSG. I mean, I've interviewed brain surgeons, uh, neurologists, scientists. I mean, it just devastates the brain. It's an excitotoxin. It destroys the liver. And it is in tens of thousands of products. We can say no. We can stand up. But if you've got a neighbor giving fluoride water to their baby, please go over and warn them. If you've got a neighbor that's sitting there eating MSG-filled chips one after the other, warn them. You've got a responsibility. If you know people that are feeding processed foods filled with GMO, warn them. And for God's sakes, don't give it to your own children. If you want to kill yourself, that's your own business. But don't hurt your children. Don't do this, ladies and gentlemen. In closing, I want to talk about some positive things. Just 15 years ago or so, you couldn't find organic food anywhere on store shelves. And now, about half of what you see is organic. Uh, just a few years ago, all the milk uh, had the uh, growth hormone in it. Now it's hard to find milk that has the growth hormone in it because the consumers have spoken and said no. A few years ago, you couldn't find toothpaste that didn't have sodium fluoride in it. Now Tom's of Maine is starting to you know, take over the aisle space and displace uh, the other mainline toothpaste makers where it says on the back, if you swallow this, call poison control immediately. Even Colgate is now putting out fluoride-free toothpaste. People are demanding that they not be poisoned, and they're finding out about what's going on. And so industry is starting to respond and at least give people who want a choice an option to not be forcibly medicated through the food and the water. You know cigarettes are bad for you. But just 20 years ago, the cigarette makers were getting up before Congress and saying it was a conspiracy theory that it was killing people. And then later it came out in their internal documents. They knew it was deadly. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen the studies. Much of what they're putting in our food and water is far worse than even cigarettes, as bad as they are, one of the biggest killers in this country. This is a covert, soft kill operation. We'll put a lot of links beneath this video so you can check out the facts for yourself. And I'm just begging you to do your own research and find out that one of the most dangerous places in the world is your grocery store and the tap water in your house.